Hello. Um, I didn't, okay. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared to do this intro. interested in solar printing and cyanotypes so that's what we're going to be trying in this video and I'm very excited the only thing that's deterred me from trying it out is the fact that I don't like the cyan color that comes with cyanotypes but it never dawned on me to see if they have like other dye colors and it turns out that they do and they have black which is uh, perfect so this is the jacquard um, black solar fast dye. The next most important thing are the transparency sheets. Um, I got these printed at FedEx. So basically I took my favorite film photos that I thought would work really well as t-shirts and I went back into Photoshop and reverted them back into negatives and then printed them um, on transparency sheets on the FedEx website. Most of them I printed them as doubles just to make sure like the black on here is like super opaque. Um, it's officially like two days later. Um, I had another migraine on Monday, so this is becoming like my migraine diaries. First, I'm gonna mark off where I want the print to be and then I'm going to tape it off. Sorry, not sorry for my Filipino maximalist decor we have going on here. Um, I straightened it some more. I'm just gonna live with how it is right now. But I'm gonna apply the dye. Okay, just gonna go for it. I don't know if it's gonna soak through to the other side of the shirt. Oh crap. Oh, it seems like it is. It's soaking through to the other side. Oh God. I won't put the glass. Let's leave it for 15 minutes. I found somebody. I say you don't cross my mind. And she doesn't know that your So right off the bat, I'm, I'm realizing my mistakes really quickly here. This is the part of the video where things start to go awry. I'm getting a little bit stressed out, so I'm not explaining myself as much as I was in the beginning. Here I'm trying to make my life a little bit easier. I put cardboard in between the two layers of fabric to hopefully make it more stable to apply the dye to, but ultimately it really didn't make a difference. You can see how the brush is really dragging and having a hard time moving across the material. Yeah, super, super uneven. Another thing I tried differently is I also washed the glass pane that I tried using before, but before it was covered in like paper gunk. So I cleaned that up. That actually helped keep things nice and flat. Well, as flat as it could be. Here's the last one. I pretty much used the same method as the previous one. And let's take a look at the results. Hi, um, welcome to my final thoughts, my concluding thoughts for this video. I 
definitely underestimated how difficult it would be. The tutorial that I followed, the official Jakar tutorial, made it look so simple, but I'm an idiot, so let's go over all the things that I think would be helpful the next time around. From the get-go, I followed the tutorial to the T, and they said that you don't need to put anything in between the layers of this shirt because the liquid is viscous enough that it won't seep onto the other side. Um, but I think having another layer like of hard plastic, of cardboard, of anything in between um, the layers of the t-shirt would just make it easier to apply. And I think the hardest thing of all was using a foam brush. I will not use a foam brush again for this application process. That's what they used in the tutorial, but for me, the foam brush was just grabbing on to the t-shirt and it was dragging it and making the little creases that you can see in the t-shirt and it was just making the application so inconsistent and so difficult. I think for the next time I try this out, I'm going to try... Is it focusing on the mic? I think the next time I try this out, I'm going to be using my um, silk screen that I use for screen printing or I'm just going to try a brush that has hair um, instead of a foam brush, literally anything than a foam brush, I will try. Anything. I will try this mic before I use that foam brush again. For the first shirt, the Gildan shirt, I panicked. I looked up how soon do I need to wash the sun printing dye out of the fabric and it said immediately. So um, I wasn't sure what to do about it. I wasn't sure if I should just like let it sit in the dark to stop the exposure process while I work on the other shirts or if I should just toss it in the wash, do its own load, but I ultimately ended up putting it in its own cycle, which took 40 minutes, and I was thinking, there's no way I'm gonna do this for every single shirt. That's, that's ridiculous. So the first one had its own load in the washing machine, and then the other two I just washed, I hand washed in my bathtub with hot, hot water. To clarify for this part, I was gonna go into this whole spiel about how the gray shirt turned out better color-wise in comparison to the white shirt, but for all my shirts, there was this weird combination of blue and orange, like a rust kind of color, and yeah, it was, it was not consistent at all. And then after that, I just pretty much let them air dry. After that, I pretty much just let them air dry and yeah those are those are the results those are the things i took away from it i will definitely try this again so if you guys would like to see a part two to this let me know um otherwise i'm just gonna do it anyway so uh yeah <laughs> besides that i will see you guys later thank you for your time bye Maybe I shouldn't be filming this right now. This is not working. All right. Okay, so obviously you saw me struggle with the- It's not focused on me, huh? <laughs> Ooh, it's bright. Oh no, the sun.